Hey everybody, this is Jen. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about winter sowing for a fall garden. How do we do that? Stay tuned right here on Garden Jen's Journey. Okay, so today we're going to be planting crops for a fall garden using the winter sowing method. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, please go ahead and watch the video and I'll put a link above all about how to winter sow. We're going to be using those same concepts to get uh, seed starts going for a, our fall garden. So I'm going to show you the slight differences between winter sowing and using that concept to get seed starts going to plant for a fall harvest. So let's head on out to the garden and I'll show you how that's done. Okay, for fall winter sowing, we're following the same principles as for regular winter sowing with a few changes. Uh, we have our pre-moistened soil ready to go. We have our seeds and I'm doing some carrots and some kale, some herbs and some flowers um, to get them ready to be planted in the fall. And so for my carrots, I'm just going to sprinkle them here along the top. And I'm going to sprinkle with just a little bit more soil, not too much, just enough to cover them. And I'm reusing soil that I used earlier this year. I do it all the time uh, for winter sowing. Uh, reusing soil is just fine. Unless you have some parasites or something in it, then of course you don't want to reuse that. But. I'm going to put my label in here so I know what it is. And then the next thing I'm going to do, and this is where the difference comes from uh, for winter sowing. Move these out of the way. Is for uh, winter sowing, when you tape your jug shut, you usually tape all the way around them. But for fall sowing, um, you don't want to do that because they have to breathe a little bit. It's it's quite a bit warmer now than in the in the winter, so you have to allow for air circulation more than winter sowing. So all I'm going to do is just going to put some pieces of tape here, just enough to keep it closed. nice and closed and I'm not even gonna write on the outside what these are because my label on the inside is very visible and so that's good to go um, so what I'm gonna do with this next is I'm gonna put this in a uh, place that gets partial shade I have quite a few areas here in my herb garden that gets uh, some shade because the herbs are really tall that I can put these uh, under so they get partial shade. You don't want these in full sun again because it's it's warm now. It's you know summertime, so these will get really really hot if you have them in complete full sun. So partial shade is best for these. And then um, just check them um, about once a week, see if they're dried out. Um, if you live in a really hot climate where things dry out really quickly. I check these every other day and uh, see if they're dried. If they're dried, go ahead and set them in a container um, to allow the water to rehydrate your soil and then put them back under uh, your shade environment and just wait for these to grow. And when these are ready to transplant, you just go ahead and transplant like you would um, your normal seedlings. 
If you're unsure how to transplant things like carrots or root crops because you've never done it before, uh, go ahead and watch the video and I'll put a link up above for transplanting carrots and other root crops. They transplant wonderfully, they transplant great. So you can grow just about anything that grows from seed in these jugs and transplant them just fine. Okay, so hopefully that gives you an idea on how to winter sow for your fall crops. It's pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Uh, any questions, make sure to leave them in the comment section below and I'll answer them as soon as I am able. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found, found it informative, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I thank you for being with me on this gardening journey. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button down below and I'd love to have you along. <clears throat> I hope wherever you are, you are wonderfully blessed. So until next time, everybody, bye-bye.